explain to them what you tried to explain to me and see what happens. Great. And don't be afraid of using color either. Yes, absolutely. Get the kids into the color. I was going to ask why you chose not to use color. Well, when I spoke to Mike on the phone, he was still on the West Coast, and he told me about his vision and the inspiration, I guess, that was um, f for this, this event in particular. And um, it was a, it was in, uh, he was explaining to me about the Sumi um, calligraphers. And it's a very, you know, very constrained, very precise art form that happens in a very deliberate short period of time. Um, I was a little, and so I took that and ran with it and thought, okay, I mean, you, you wouldn't have wanted to be there watching me mix paint. Um, <laughs> so, um, and I was a little worried that this might be like watching paint dry, but I think it was better than that. And so, so yeah, so I thought, you know, the, the idea of just having black, a black medium would, would be great and simplify it and it would sort of emphasize the point that we were making. Yes? Roger, what do you see when you look at what you just made? <laughs> A lot of, what I see is mostly, it's for me, um, a response to the rhythmic element. Um, and, and, and a circular, kind of a circular movement through the page, and then some lateral movements. I was, I, I was originally thinking um, another, another gestural move that I made was this sort of the shape, and I, I, I love the shapes of pianos. So initially when we started, I was responding kind of to the flow of the music. Um, and one of the, and, and, and I think because this is, I use black, um, to me this primarily feels very rhythmic um, rather than necessarily melodic. And, the, and if it was melodic, the, mul the, mul the, the melodic aspect of it is sort of in this circular movement through it. And then a lot of rhythm. <laughs> A couple of uh, thoughts about the, the two mediums. Uh, the, the piano the music is linear, and the art is spatial. And uh, the music becomes an experience, but the art becomes an artifact. And, and it's a real different uh, interpretation, I think. I just, just sort of. Oh, yeah, they are. It's sort of the irony of it. Um, and I know the musicians that I know. It's like everybody's all kind of looking over into the other pastor saying, oh, you know, but you have that. You create something that lasts, and ours is so temporal, and, you know, and <laughs> um, it just, I don't know, it's just, it is, it's sort of a... Well, while you were doing that, that meant that you were continuing to work. Mm -hmm. uh, but limited by the, compelled by the length of the time of the piece, but limited by the Right, and I, you know, at first, uh, after I told the, the wonderful woman um, that I wanted a, you know, I just thought, okay, Luan plywood's inexpensive, a four by eight sheet vertical, and I thought, oh, maybe I should ask for it horizontal. And they were asking, do you want it on a scroll? I mean, it, there are a lot of ways this could have worked out, and I could have just sort of painted myself across the room, which would have been very much like, you know, reading the score. Um, that's, and I think that's one of the reasons it sort of became circular. I was moving, kind of trying to condense that time, bend it to conform to the page. Speaking of bending time. Time to bend our way upstairs. Right. This is a bending.